Shine bright like a diamond Shine bright like a diamond my name is Gabrielle Jordan. I'm 15 years old. I am in the ninth grade and I'm the founder and CEO of Jewels of Jordan. Jewels of Jordan is a jewelry company where I hand make high quality jewelry like necklaces, bracelets, earrings for the professional woman. Started in school. She would make jewelry and she'd go to school and they would look at this. I want that, I'd buy that from you. I'm Marcella, I'm Gabrielle's mom and manager. And I'm Ron, I'm Gabrielle's dad and media producer. I handle some of the administrative things with Gabrielle. Uh, she tells me what to do, I do it. Take that pearl off, and if you see the pattern... For me, I take care of her online media, mostly videos and uh, shots of her jewelry. So yeah, we'll take this one here. Okay. See you can do the duck to fill thing. I started my business at nine years old, but even before that, I've always loved jewelry. So at seven, I taught myself how to make jewelry. Even though I'm only 15, I've been in business for around six years. I want to talk a little bit more about the table um, and making sure that we're getting sales over there. Uh, this is a fashion show, so it shouldn't be too hard to get people to come over since jewelry is fashion. My brother's role is more of a support role because he doesn't do a lot for my business, more like he does a lot for me to be, to be a kid. I'm Daniel, I'm 17 years old, and I'm Gabrielle's older brother. No, I'm just playing my Legos. Gabby as a sister is fun. She can be caring, loving, she can be selfish, annoying. Like you were supposed to put the trash bags in, like in all the rooms, you still don't do that. Oh, one second, almost done. Almost done what? You're playing with Legos. <laughs> It's ups and downs, there's everything with her, but you know, she's my sister. We are so committed to Jules of Jordan that we had to sell our house to move in with uh, my wife's parents because we want this company to, to succeed. We want it to excel and we want our kids to do great. We've put in hundreds of thousands of dollars into making sure that her company moves forward. Uh, we have to make Jules of Jordan the priority uh, and everything else will come secondary. I actually hand make the jewelry, but I also have my assistants, which is my grandmother and my granddad help me as well. So that's for the flower girl, okay. the maid of honor, oh, and wow. then the bridesmaids. Okay, how many of these? There's gonna be three, so okay. that's what we're working on today. Okay. It's an inclusive family. Yes. And we all, we all help each other when as needed. Gabrielle is the boss and we are here to support her. If she yeah. said, Grandmommy, could you help me make jewelry today? Yes, Gabrielle, I will. You know, and I do help her. Just do it quickly before she comes back. Yeah. <laughs> my jewelry ranges from $40 up to several hundred dollars for my most expensive pieces. I am definitely making money in my business. I do pay my, my parents because my mom is my manager. My dad is the media producer. My grandparents are kind of my marketing team as well. Yeah, she's not gonna be happy unless we sell something, you know? So, come on people, come on people. Mm, they're coming. At 15 years old, I'm in charge of everything and I think my parents probably have some kind of issue with that almost. You need to do the homework assignments that I instructed you to do. Having our teenage daughter as a boss comes with its share of ups and downs. I am getting really frustrated here when you continue to, it's, I mean, it's disobedience, that's what it is. I think the hardest part about having her as a boss is knowing when it's okay for her to say no to me and knowing when it's not. You're the boss. You're the boss. It's your responsibility. Right. Let's just let's just get dressed. I am the boss of Jewels of Jordan, but then at the end of the day, my parents need me to be a kid and I'm supposed to talk to them like a kid and be their, their child. Daddy, there's nothing to eat. Someone, there's always something to eat in there. There is nothing in here. There is always something to eat in there. I am really, really hungry and I can't see anything. Well, I can't you find really, anything. really need to look. I sell my jewelry at, of course, the boutiques that I'm in and online, and I also sell it when I go to different events.
The next step for Jewels of Jordan is to put my jewelry into these bigger brand stores where they can help to promote my jewelry. Saks Avenue wants to put Jewels of Jordan in their stores and we're really excited about that. My business is growing so much that now I have to look for manufacturers in order to take it to the next level. This is just really the beginning of Jewels of Jordan. Thank you guys so much for coming. Yeah.